Hello everyone. Well, most of Nebraska is going to be cooler today in the mid to upper 80s, but the low 90s still hanging on to the southeastern corner of the state. That cold front has stalled out in southeastern Nebraska. So though it's going to be a little bit cooler than yesterday and the humidity lower as well, still reaching 90, 91, 92 degrees in Lincoln, Omaha, and Beatrice. Meanwhile, everywhere else, pretty uniform temperatures. Might see some low 80s in the far northern part of the state, but most of us in the mid to upper 80s. Uh, let's talk about low temperatures tonight because I do think the stalled front starts to move again and finally clears the southeastern part of the state. And so these are actually normal low temperatures for this time of year. You know, we should be ranging generally from the mid 50s over the Panhandle to the mid 60s in eastern Nebraska. So maybe a little above normal in far eastern Nebraska, a little below normal in the far western part of the state, but roughly averaging around 60 degrees. Very reasonable for this time of year. And I don't think there's really going to be a change in temperatures in the southeastern part of the state for tomorrow. We're basically just going to return mainly to the low 90s, maybe a couple spots in the upper 80s. We are going to be warming up, though, in a lot of other locations. Notice that while most of us today are going to be in the mid to upper 80s, tomorrow we're talking about most of us in the upper 80s, low 90s. We might even see some mid 90s out in the Panhandle. Not much wind today, and there's not going to be much wind tomorrow in the central and eastern part of the state, but I will have to call it breezy again over in the Panhandle with those gusts getting back around 20, 25 miles per hour. All right, let's talk about rain chances as well. Now today, they're going to be focused along that stalled front. Now, early this morning, just a couple stray showers in the central part of the state, but in the afternoon, we're going to see some new showers and storms fire up along that stalled front. Here we are at one o'clock and it's kind of following that stalled front very closely. So the rain chance really going to be from Columbus, Grand Island, Kearney, and on over to the south and east. If you live to the north and west of Grand Island and Kearney, going to be staying dry today. It's going to be a combination of showers and storms. I'm not worried about severe storms in the sense that we're talking about damage storms. However, there could be some stronger storms. I'm not going to rule that out. And what I mean by a stronger storm is gusts 40, 50 miles per hour, maybe some P dime size hail that could happen in a couple spots. But notice we're not seeing any dark shades of red showing up. So that's why we're not talking about those really intense storms, but it could be a couple of stronger storms. Again, this is going to be a combination of shower storms. Here we are at five o'clock and notice the rain basically in the same spot. So what could happen is you could get multiple rounds of rain today. It could rain and stop and then start raining again, or you could be real unlucky and miss out. Rain, uh, But because we're not talking about really intense storms, not worried about flooding, even if you do get multiple rounds of rain. Notice that the chance continues even into the early evening hours. Again, this stalled front just not wanting to move until I think very late tonight will finally clear the area. So I do want to keep the chance in for showers and storms through the evening hours and even the early overnight hours. And technically, though the stall front will now finally have started moving again and be clear of us, I got to keep in a chance of rain throughout the day tomorrow because this front is still going to be slowly moving to the south. So the best chance of rain tomorrow is going to be in the far southern part of the state. And as I'm going to show you here, there's not going to be much. Here we are at 8 a.m. Could be some stray showers in our most southern counties. Let's jump ahead to the early afternoon. Notice a couple of stray showers. So places that have a better chance of rain tomorrow are McCook, Beatrice. It's going to be a struggle even to see rain in places like Kearney and Lincoln. I'll mention a chance, but if you live even north of Grand Island, I bet Omaha is going to stay completely dry based on the latest high resolution models we have coming in. It looks like the activity is going to try and push a little bit farther north once we get into the evening hours, but still mainly hanging out in the southern part of the state. And even there, not much rain. So tomorrow is looking like a drier day than today for southeastern Nebraska. I will mention, though, that rain chances are looking better for Thursday when we get a warm front working across the state. So look for an update on that tomorrow.